The Great Debate Series. Best Sports Movies. Okay, so again, if you're just joining us or if you haven't been with us all week, we've been doing top five best sports movies by sport all week long. Monday was baseball. Tuesday was boxing. Wednesday was football. Yesterday was basketball. And we needed like a catch-all category. And that's what we're doing today. Yes. So it's not the you said the greatest sports movies. I think this could be confused to be the five best sports movies of all time. It's not. No, no, no. We, it's just the ones that didn't fit into the other categories. Yeah, so we're calling it a catch-all. So bear with us on this one and let us know what you think. And, and definitely these are five of the greatest sports movies, both our lists. I could say confidently. I mean, I think we did a really good job here. Would you like me to go? Well, ahead? actually, can I say that these are five of the best movies on both our lists. I don't know if they're sports movies. Well, that's, Just saying. That's where the debate may come in. So, all right, let me kick it off. Number five on my list, The Big Lebowski. I see you roll your way into the semis. Dios mío, man. Liam and me, we're gonna f you up. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. It's amazing. The dude, it's so good. And to me, this is a sports movie mm. because of all the bowling that is so prominently displayed and focused on in this movie. It's not a bowling movie per se, it's definitely a Coen Brothers weird kind of pseudo heist movie, but. This has so much bowling in it, oh. I think that it applies. Man, I should have put Kingpin on my list. Oh, I, I forgot Kingpin. about Kingpin. Um, yeah, <laughs> Just but Kingpin Bill was hair alone. professional bowling. This was league bowling. Is that, does that make it a sport movie? Well, we've had Bull Durham was minor league baseball. Yeah, minor league Little base- Giants was, you know, uh, youth football. It doesn't have to be pros. Minor League Baseball and what they're doing in, in Big Lebowski are not the same thing. <laughs> okay. Well, I put Teen Wolf on my best basketball movie. Well, that's I'd high say, school basketball. Yeah, but I didn't. And, and at least that's <laughs> high school basketball. This is league bowling. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Number four on my list is Talladega Nights. Or as our brothers to the south call you, hey, Zeus, we thank you so much for this bountiful harvest of dominoes, KFC, and... Always delicious Taco Bell. I just want to take time to say thank you for my family, my two beautiful, beautiful, handsome, striking sons, Walker and Texas Ranger, or TR as we call them. And of course, my red hot smoking wife, Carly, who's a stone cold fox, mm. who if you were to rate her ass on 100, it would easily be a 94. Mm. It's so good. Talladega Nights. Will Ferrell, Adam McKay is the director. Of course, John C. Riley, Sasha Baron Cohen, phenomenal in this movie as well. Gary Cole, I mean, Amy Adams, of course, is just so, so many excellent performances. Number four on my list. Number three, you know you love it. Cool Runnings. Ready? Ready. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhyme. Get on up. It's bumpflet time. Cool running. Love Cool Runnings. Anything that John Candy is in immediately goes higher up on my list. It's the feel-good movie. It's got the mm. underdog story. It's got the tears, the relationships, the friendships, the inclusion, overcoming things, all of it. It might be one of the perfect sports movies, yeah. and it's number three on my list. And it's definitely a sports movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to my next one on my list, number two, Best in Show. He didn't want to dance. I, I was like dancing by myself. I did not want to dance because... Say, get uh, up, get up, Jerry. I no, kept saying, no. you know, I can't dance. I can't... Ch- I've got two left feet. I got two left feet. <laughs> I thought he was kidding. But I wasn't. Um, I I was born uh, with two uh, left feet. <laughs> this is the most incredible. And if you love the TV show that uh, Catherine O'Hara and Eugene Levy were in, can I say it on the air? You know what creek. People get weird about that sometimes, even though it's not the real curse word. But... They're excellent in this. Jennifer Coolidge, who, of course, was a Stifler's mom and also in White Lotus, she's in this as incredible. Fred Willard as the commentator on the dog, uh, Best in Show dog show, incredible. Parker Posey is phenomenal. Uh, 
it's all Christopher Guest, obviously. Michael McKeon, amazing. Um, Bob Balaban, I'm leaving people out. It's the best movie, and I believe a dog show and a competition does suffice as a sports movie. Okay, I mean, it does, it gets on sports networks. Sports Center does run the dog show, so right? I'll, I'll give you that. Okay, thank you. And then number one on my list, it's gotta be Caddyshack. So I tell them I'm a pro jack. And who do you think they give me? The Dalai Lama himself. The 12th son of the Lama. The flowing robes, the grace, bald. Striking. So I'm on a first tee with him. I give him the driver. He hauls off and whacks one. Big hitter from the Lama. Long. Into a 10,000 foot crevice right at the base of this glacier. Do you know what the Lama says? No. Gunga Galunga. Gunga Gunga Galunga. So he finished 18, and he's going to stiff me. And I say, hey, Lama, hey, how about a little something, you know, for the effort, you know. And he says, oh, uh, there won't be any money. But when you die on your deathbed, you will receive total consciousness. So I got that going. There you go. Caddyshack is my number one. So just to recap, Big Lebowski, five, Talladega Nights, four, three is Cool Runnings, two, Best in Show, number one, Caddyshack. Perloff, you're up. Okay. Uh, that was a good list. Nominally sports movies. <laughs> but I, I'll, I will let you go with that. Our nine, number five. You know, if you're a sports fan, you probably know this music. Chariots of Fire. Even Ackles, he, he wants to go out and run in the sand <laughs> I now. Cry. <laughs> so this is one of the very few sports movies. It won the Oscar, I believe. It's an unbelievable movie. I probably too old. A lot of people haven't seen it, but it's great. It's about the 1920 Olympics. It sounds so boring, I know, but it's so good. And actually, there's an interesting thing. If do you watch The Crown, yes. The last season, Dory Fayed, who died in the car crash with Princess Diana, he actually produced that, and they shot a couple of scenes that were at Chariot to Fire, and it turned out to be this massive, massive hit. Uh, really good movie. I know, 1920 Olympic movie, it's not exactly Big Lebowski, but uh, I do enjoy it. Okay, number four, The Hustler. Now, this is an interesting one, too. This is Paul Newman, the original Hustler. Jackie Gleason plays Minnesota Fats, had Robert C. Scott. Incredible movie, one of, probably, like, definitely high up on the list of all-time great movies. Yeah. I'm including this in the same umbrella because I also love Color of Money. So Color of Money gets into my number four because it's a direct sequel to The Hustler. So I get a little Paul Newman as all Vince. Right. I get, uh, if you haven't seen this movie and you like pool or you just like movies, it is just unbelievable. Uh, Paul Newman, one of two appearances by Paul Newman. A three if you give me two for Color of Money. Number three, how did you not put this on your Wait, list? sorry. Just quickly, yeah. Billy Wolf's in the chat. Perloff had a throne of fire last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Number three, uh, how did you not have Karate Kid? It's Tell my list. What's that? It's my list. But how can everyone here not have Karate If, karate, if you're not doing basketball, baseball, and the big sports, is Karate Kid not the greatest sports movie of all time? Do you not want to climb a mountain after watching Karate Kid? <laughs> I love Karate Kid, but your list is your list and my list is mine. Okay. I just want to make sure that Karate Kid is considered a sports movie. The All-Valley Championship, that's definitely. that's definitely sports. Okay, I have Caddyshack number two. You had a number one. The only movie I put ahead of it is one of my favorite movies, movies, and definitely one of my favorite sports movies, Slapshot. Could you tell them, for example, uh, what is icing? Well, um, icing happened when uh, the puck come down, bang, you know, before the other guys, mm -hmm. nobody there, you know. Mm -hmm. My heart go comes out, then uh, the game stopped and start up. <laughs> it's so good. Slapshot. Slapshot, 1977, starring Paul Newman. There's all these different stories and interviews. Why did the great Paul Newman do a movie about minor league hockey? No one to this day knows <laughs> why he's in this movie. There's not a single person who's even approaching stardom anywhere else in this movie. It's the most Canadian movie ever. Uh, the Hanson brothers were the goon twins. I was pulling clips to try and get uh, an audio clip. I'm still laughing. 
the Hanson brothers don't know how to play hockey. All they can do is beat everyone up. It's a great movie uh, for hockey fans. It's sort of, you know, just legendary. So I put that at number one. And the reason I put it one over Caddyshack, because it's all sports, right? Caddyshack, again, is not professional sports. It's club golf. Right. So I think that there's a distinction on my list where I, I, I keep it a little more professional because you have Big Lebowski, which is league bowling. Yeah, you have Caddy- The Hustler. takes place in a pool hall. But it's, he's the greatest pool player in the history of the world. That's a professional sport. It's Minnesota Fats. You know. Yeah, I know, but it's not like, okay, okay. No, you're right. I, uh, think it, but I think it can be amateur sports, too, because, like, you can still have the triumph. You can still have the good uh, messages. You can still evoke a feeling, even if it's not pros. Hell, Hoosiers was your number one yesterday. For yeah, high, high school. school basketball. Yeah, right. High school basketball is a massive sport. <laughs> oh, okay. But... You have a sport where they had to leave their event in the bowling alley, Big Lebowski, because there were nihilists attacking them outside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is not. This is not I exactly. I stretch the boundaries of what is a sports movie. Yeah. Because I wanted to get some of these big ones in, and I can tell you right now, the chat is not happy with me. Oh yeah, because you're stretching the genre. Wait, let me ask you: Can we put Searching for Bobby Fischer, the famous chess movie, in there? I think so. Now, Mike mm. in California is telling us, "Oh, can we have Molly's game on now because it's about." Poker, you know, rounders would be another one, I guess. But if it was about professional poker, yes. Informal games in the back room of a Hollywood, like Molly's game, is not a sports movie. <laughs> Billy Wolf is in the chat saying, Maggie put best in show. Does that mean Lassie is an athlete now? <laughs> 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 Maybe. <laughs> Listen, it's about competition, isn't it? Sports, competition. I think we can get there. Rich you know. Ackerman, welcome back, Rich yeah. Thank Ackerman. Thank you. It's good to be back. You came back on a really fun day. What do you think of our lists? I like the list, especially Slapshot. Yeah. Well, listen, you're wearing a Carver <laughs> High School basketball, white shadow. white shadow. So this is, yeah. Uh, right, right up my alley. <laughs> yeah, Slapshot. Everybody, if you're a hockey fan, you love Slapshot. So I think it's, if you haven't seen Slapshot, go back. It holds up in the clips I was looking at. Yeah. Is anyone here, have any of you young guys not seen Caddyshack, by the way? I've seen Caddyshack. I've seen Caddyshack and I've seen Talladega Nights. I've not seen any of the other movies on either of your guys' lists. Wow. Never saw Lebowski. Never did. Huh. My dad's told me to watch The Big Lebowski, but never got around to it. I just assumed that was like a college dorm room Wait. kind of movie. Connor, you've never seen Karate Kid 1? Never seen Karate Kid. Or the TV show remake they did with, yeah. I think, his son. Cobra Kai. Didn't see that either. Cobra, Cobra Kai. Kai. Yeah. yeah. It was funny because <laughs> Stu and I had a moment where the other day some people were calling in and said the MASH movie was a great uh, football movie, right? And I said, wow, MASH had a movie? And everyone just like couldn't believe I didn't know okay. MASH had a movie. I thought it was just a TV show. So then I'm talking to Stu. Then I got a little taste of my own what medicine because I said, oh, I'm going to do Teen Wolf. And he goes, that was a movie? And I was like, oh, now I know what it feels like. Wait, Apparently Teen it, Wolf is a TV oh, show, Oh, I was going to say, there's a show? Te- who is in the show Teen Wolf? I would have not known there was a TV show Teen Wolf. I've heard of the movie, but there's I've never no seen that TV one show, either. Teen Wolf. There is a TV show Teen Wolf. And Stu's like, oh, they have a movie? Who's so, in it? Full circle. I got a taste of my own medicine. Uh, some people are upset with us on some oh. that we left off of our list. So we'll get to you guys. We see you on the phones. We're going to get to you oh. in just a moment. The TV show was on MTV. I did see it, but it was like serious. It was like a like people oh, like were murdered. Vampire movie or yeah, something? Yeah, it was like it wasn't like, you know, he wins the basketball game. I do remember <laughs> this, which it should not count. That's pathetic.